Dear community leader, you have been given this brief so that you may understand what is happening now in regards to the closure of the banking system. We hope you will help maintain the calm and peace of your community during this short period of change. We also will encourage you to support those in positions of responsibility to help maintain the status quo in regards to the vital necessities of your local community. We are hoping that food, water, electricity, internet, gasoline, transportation and phone service will not be disrupted during this banking system changeover. Furthermore this community leader brief has been created to help you understand what is transpiring around the world at this time. The person or persons giving you this brief are part of a worldwide network which is dedicated to a peaceful transition to a transparent financial system for our banking systems worldwide. Who do we represent and who is behind this process? Our group is comprised of intelligent, aware individuals from all segments of society and we are dedicated to nonviolent change. We have been made aware of what is now transpiring by key individuals in the world's secret service organizations and military. Top-ranking members of the world's political infrastructure are also supporting these lawful enforcements. These honest patriots in the CIA, NSA, FBI, military, sheriff and police forces have counterparts from around the world involved in a simultaneous sweep of financial criminals. To summarize, there are large international multi-jurisdictional task forces who have uncovered large-scale corruption in the financial and political arenas and are now taking lawful actions to end this criminal behavior. Certain leaders of regional and national law enforcement agencies and police forces are aware of what is now taking place as well. We also anticipate military presence to be deployed in the cities to help maintain the peace. We are anticipating broadcasts over the emergency broadcast network to explain the situation very soon if they have not begun by the time you have received this document. What is happening and why are the banks closed? What is happening at this time is a necessary financial reset of the global central banking system. Unfortunately this must necessitate the closing of every computer tied into the central banks. This will leave the entire planet without access to cash, ATM, machines, credit cards or stock markets. There will be no currency available other than what is already in circulation for a maximum time of possibly two weeks. The intent and plans of these lawful agencies in charge are hoping for a best case scenario of three to five days for the banking system to be offline. However with so many variables at play, the exact time it will take to affect this changeover in reality is unknown at this time. This lack of money amongst the world's populace clearly may create some hardships in various locations as some may panic for not being able to access their money via the normal channels. Your vital role in this process. This is where our contact with you and your leadership is vital to maintain an open honest and transparent communication network with those in your community and those fellow community leaders who will maybe not know what is happening or be able to receive this brief in a timely manner. One of the most important actions we will ask you to perform is the monitoring of the local police forces that are not aware of this event and what is transpiring. They may see the people's confusion and mistake this natural reaction as hostile or potentially violent. We ask that above all these forces remain vigilant proactive and refrain from violence. Important Suggestions to Maintain Peace for a Harmonious Change we ask that food and water banks and local community groups be encouraged to begin to serve the populace if these bank closures result in disruptions to any of the following for too long, transportation, food, water, electrical grid, cell phone towers, internet, television, emergency services, hospitals and any other vital network that may be affected. How did we know this is happening now? Our group has been contacted and we have been asked to act as an informational network and infrastructure to support you in your appointed tasks whatever they may be. If you are a mayor or a water district manager or the community's liaison to the power companies we hope you will see to it that your responsibilities and services remain uninterrupted during the time while the banks are closed. 
We further ask that you provide a means to get these necessities to those that require them via your local community's infrastructure such as soup kitchens on school grounds or the distribution of water for those in need. We ask that hospitals and emergency services be given priority and support to protect the aged and informed. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, there has been criminal malfeasance within the world banking systems including the Federal Reserve for many years. These individuals in charge have corrupted many aspects of the world's political infrastructure and greed and lust for power has thwarted the democratic process and caused much harm to our world's ecosystems and societal and national relations. Evidence to be presented to the public Evidence is being held which indicates a system of financial fraud and corruption, which has resulted in the institutionalized theft of trillions of the world's hard-earned money. This is now ending as the evidence and the serving of indictments and arrests of those responsible has now begun. These individuals involved in this conspiracy are very powerful and politically connected criminals. They have been repeatedly been warned to follow the laws of their respective countries, but some of them have refused. Time to act. This refusal to comply to the law has now forced closure of the central banks which is now affecting the entire world banking systems. This radical action is required to enforce the law and is now being implemented by a coordinated police force action around the globe. The reason this has not been done by alerting the populace beforehand is because the criminals in charge control the world media and have established censors worldwide. A policeman does not tell a criminal he is going to be arrested or he will flee. Powerful leaders will fall. This banking racketeering operation has included some very powerful public figures which when the dust settles will most likely shock many people. This is not a military coup or anything negative. In fact we feel this will allow for a more honest system of governance, which will find worldwide support as the truth is revealed to the public in the weeks to come. Your right to question the truth of this brief is noted. We understand you may not be aware or agree to this information that is being presented here but we ask you to consider that this brief was created on September 29th. 2013. This should help to act as evidence to what is now taking place was known by us who created this document beforehand. We further want to reiterate that this is not a military coup and there is no reason for panic and fear. Whether you believe us or not as to the nature of this worldwide event, we ask that you do your best to facilitate calm and peace within your communities as efficiently as possible. In conclusion, we ask that you keep an open mind to this document and know we are supporting you in your position of responsibility and power as a leader of your community. Please know that this transition is intended to be for a short period of time only. You will be asked to think locally and to not wait for federal instructions as certain communication channels may be disrupted. Please study this document and if possible talk candidly to the persons who brought this brief to your attention. They may have some very good wisdom to clarify what is happening and will share ideas that may benefit you and your community. We also have a website, www.prepareforchange.net, where you may access links to articles and evidence that what we are saying has been in process for quite some time. We will encourage you to educate yourself via these links. If the internet network remains open during the time of the closing of the banks, these links will help you understand more. If the internet is down we ask you to interface with those who bought you this document. Respectfully submitted by Prepare for Change Team, www.prepareforchange.net